Whoa! We're at the Phoenix Herpetological Sanctuary. It's the largest reptile sanctuary in all the United States. They have crocodiles, they have alligators, they have tortoises, and a lot more. But we're gonna need a reptile expert to help us out, Blaster. All right, here we go! Hi! How's it going? I'm Caitlin, the Education and Outreach Director here. Perfect! <laughs> Caitlin's going to help us meet all sorts of animals today. Where are we off to first? Have you heard of the capybara? Oh, one of my favorites! <laughs> here we go! This is Spud, and Caitlin from the Phoenix Herpetological Society is going to bring us some vegetables because it's time for their dinner. So these guys are herbivores, so if you want to give one of those to each of them. So this one is Spud, and this one over here is Tater Tot. I think they like their vegetables. Now capybaras are herbivores, like Caitlin was saying, which means that they eat a lot of plants and a lot of vegetables. Just take a look at what their dinner is. Oh yes, I'm sorry, I don't want to tease you. What if we give him this big piece of lettuce? Here you go, sweetie. There. Oh, there you go. Is that good? Yum, yum, yum. Here you go, sweetie. Blaster, do you want any lettuce? All right, just for the capybaras. Blaster, look out, the capybara's gonna eat you. Whew, that was a close one. Let's see how fast Spud can eat this piece of lettuce. Here you go. There he goes. Almost finished. All right, good job, Spud. Here's another one, don't worry, I got you covered. Now Spud and Tater Tot are still babies and they're gonna get three times as big as they are right now. They're really friendly too. Not only do they hang out with each other, but they hang out with the other animals that live here at the Phoenix Herpetological Society. That means they hang out with turtles, snakes, lizards. They hang out with all the animals. How would you like some one-on-one -on -one time with Spud and Tater Tot? Well, you can at PHS. We'll put all the information on babablast.com. You can come and interact with these guys and feed them just like I get to do. Blaster! <laughs> all right, Spud, all right, Tater Tot. We've got more animals to see, but thanks for letting us hang out with you guys. Bye-bye, capybaras. Let's go to our next location. The rescued reptiles of PHS are ambassadors for their species. Snakes, iguanas, and lizards travel in this huge truck to visit kids all across the state of Arizona. They teach them about wildlife conservation and more. Oh look, this one is sleeping before its big trip. Hey, maybe this awesome reptile van will visit your school one day. Hooray! Do you remember the Salcata tortoise we met at Miss Jan's Menagerie? <laughs> that was really cool. But you know what's cooler than one Salcata tortoise? Hundreds of Salcata tortoise. Take a look. Wow. They're everywhere. Let's see if we can get some of them to eat some of this lettuce. Mr. and Mrs. Tortoises, we have lettuce for you. Anyone want some? Here you go. Well, it looks like the chickens are coming over, but the Salcutta tortoise is taking its sweet time to come over, but I see it, it's coming. Let's see if you'll move past these chickens so we can get a big bite of lettuce. Here he comes. You're so close, tortoise. These are some of the largest tortoises in the entire world, and they're experts at digging. After this lettuce, we'll show you some of the really cool and deep holes that they dig. Oh, looks like this tortoise has a friend coming to join him for dinner. There you go. A little bite, there. Let's see if these two can share. There. 
Don't worry guys, we have more lettuce where that came from. Here you go. Mmm. You know, feeding all these animals today really puts me in the mood for a big salad. Yeah. This one seemed hungry. Blaster, you know when you go to the beach and you build sand castles and sometimes you build deep, deep caves in the sand? Well, nobody does it better than the Salcata tortoise. Look at this home that these tortoises built. They can go down there to stay warm or cool or just hide out. And in the wintertime, guess what they do? That's right, they sleep. These guys are expert sleepers, and sometimes you won't see them for weeks or even months at a time. Hey, I wanna show you some more Salcata tortoises. If you can believe it, this isn't all of them. Let's go check it out. Whoa, there are more tortoises everywhere. Phoenix Herpetological Society has more than 400 tortoises. And that's because tortoises are one of the most commonly surrendered animals. That means people who can't take care of their turtles bring them here so that they can have a great life with all their tortoise friends. Check them out. It looks like all the tortoises are hungry over here too. So we're gonna leave them this lettuce. But since we're here looking at all these cool reptiles, do you know one of my favorite reptiles? That's right, Blaster. It's alligators and crocodiles. Wanna see some? Okay, let's go check them out. Here we go. Whoa, Blaster, we're on the croc walk. That means we're gonna see some alligators and crocodiles, but I don't know anything about alligators and crocodiles. I think we know who we need to help us out. Blaster? Whoa. All right, Hi. Caitlin, you're back. Good to be here. <laughs> I'm glad you're here because I don't know what we're looking at. Who's behind us? Oh, so these are the world's largest reptiles. We have the saltwater crocodiles in here. We have the big boy Brad and his girlfriend Angelina. Oh, Brad and Angelina hanging out. Well, let's keep going on the croc walk. I want to see more. All right, next to them we have the slender snouted crocodile. These guys are really cool because their nose comes to a complete tip. And with that narrow nose, they're gonna be fish eaters. Do you like to eat fish? We love to eat fish. It's pretty good. Just like crocodiles. Now, what's the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? Sure, so alligators have a really wide snout. So like the saying, see you later, alligator, they have a C or a U-shaped nose. Whereas crocodiles have more of a point. Nice, now I see somebody behind you that you'll probably wanna check out. Take a look, come over <laughs> here. Who is this? So these are the relative of the alligators. These are some caiman in here. Oh. Yukari caiman to be specific. And they are a lot smaller than alligators, but they're a lot more feisty like crocodiles. <laughs> Ooh, do you hear that Blaster? They're feisty. Are you ready Blaster? You're going in. I'm just kidding Blaster. I would never do that. All right, well let's keep going. Kaylin, you lead the way. All right, we are gonna head all the way over to Africa and check out a really cool crocodile you can find all over the continent the Nile crocodile. Wow. These are known for being a large species and we have Mr. E or Mr. Engelbert over there and his girlfriend, Cleopatra. Now you might notice that they're liking to stay out of the water and sit in the sun and that's because they warm up that way with the sun's warm rays. It's fun to sit out in the warm sun when it's nice and cold out. <laughs> That's what we do, Blaster and I. If we get cold, time to go lay in the sun. Now, I heard that there was an alligator here named Charlie who's pretty mm. famous. Is this we true? We do, yep. You wanna go meet him? Yeah, but we don't need to walk. We can just blast there. Okay. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> where are we? We are in Charlie and Lucy's pen and it looks like I have my handy dandy alligator tool. Well, I'm glad you have an alligator tool because Blaster, I'm not gonna use you for an alligator tool. I don't think Blaster would be good for that. No, come here in the water. It looks like they're taking a nap underwater. Wow. So alligators are really good at staying cold. Most reptiles don't like the cold, but alligators can live in frozen lakes. So right now these guys are pretty chilly in there. 
Now, they're not always asleep. Check them out when they're awake and having fun. Caitlin, they are incredible. Aren't they? They're the top predators in the native areas they're found. And if you want to check out these top predators anytime live, you can. They have a camera that has a live stream to these alligators that you can check out. We'll put a link to that live stream in the description of this video and on babablast.com. So Caitlin, where did Charlie and Lucy come from? So they were actually kept as pets. Do you think alligators make good pets? No, I don't. <laughs> yes, they're not very great pets because they get so large. So they came to us in 2003. Well, I'm glad they found this place <laughs> as their final home, and it looks like they're really enjoying it. <laughs> How would you like to sleep underwater with a waterfall? Well, I don't want to disturb Charlie and Lucy, and even though I really want to touch them, I know I shouldn't. So, Caitlin, is there any reptile that we can actually touch? I think I got something. All right, Blaster, take us away. Here we go. Whoa, whoa. Well, you have a snake on you, Caitlin. I do, this is Oasis. She is a red tail boa, but she looks a little different. Can you tell? Yeah, she's not red except in her eyes. <laughs> yep, so she is an albino snake. So she has no coloration to her besides that white and a little bit of yellow and then those red eyes. Oasis is beautiful. Yeah, you want to pet her? Oh, I would love it. Blaster, we're going to pet a snake for the very first time. Oh, she's soft. Mm hmm very smooth and like glass. And smooth and gushy a little bit. <laughs> wow. Oh, look, she's going under your shirt. She's very, very uh, sweet and likes how warm I am. <laughs> yeah, I bet. She's amazing. Do you know how old she is? She's probably close to 10 years old. She wow. was someone's pet. And now she lives here. <laughs> hey, Blaster, you want to get a closer look? There you go. Well, she is so beautiful, and thanks for letting us touch her. Anytime. Wow. <laughs> I hope you had fun today. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.